The cutoff frequency is an important concept to understand when you are analyzing or designing filters. The range of frequencies for which a filter does not cause significant attenuation is called the pulse band, and the range of frequencies for which the filter does cause significant attenuation is called the stop band. Analog filters such as the RC low pass filter always transition gradually from pass band to stop band. This means that it is impossible to identify one frequency at which the filter stops passing signals and starts blocking signals, right? However, engineers need a way to conveniently summarize the frequency response of a filter, and this is where the concept of cutoff frequency comes into play. When you look at a graph of an RC filter's frequency response, you will notice that the term cutoff frequency is not very accurate. The image of a signal spectrum being cut into two halves, one of which is retained and one of which is discarded, does not apply because attenuation increases gradually as frequencies move from below the cutoff to above the cutoff. The cutoff frequency of an RC low pass filter is actually the frequency at which the amplitude of the input signal is reduced by 3 decibel. This value was chosen because a 3 decibel reduction in amplitude corresponds to a 50% reduction in power. As a result, the cutoff frequency is also called the minus 3 decibel frequency, and in fact, this name is more accurate and more informative. The term bandwidth refers to the width of a filter's passband, and in the case of a low pass filter, the bandwidth is equal to the minus 3 decibel frequency. As explained in the previous courses, the low pass behavior of an RC filter is caused by the interaction between the frequency independent impedance of the resistor and the frequency dependent impedance of the capacitor. To determine the details of a filter's frequency response, we need to mathematically analyze the relationship between resistance and capacitance, and we can also manipulate these values in order to design a filter that meets precise specifications. The cutoff frequency of an RC low pass filter is calculated using this formula here. Let's look at a simple design example. Capacitor values are more restrictive than resistor values, so we will start with a common value of capacitance, such as 10 nanofarads, and then we will use the equation to determine the required resistance value. The goal is to design a filter that will preserve a 5 kHz audio waveform and reject a 500 kHz noise waveform. The cutoff frequency has to be between this 5 kHz audio signal and this 500 kHz noise waveform. So we will try first with a cutoff frequency of 100 kHz. As you can see here, after inserting all the values that we already know, we get a resistance of 159 ohms. As a result, a 159 ohm resistor combined with a 10 nanofarad capacitor will give us a filter that closely approximates the desired frequency response.